Now, here's a big one. The Bible calls us to a life of suffering, and it's not in there, but it includes sickness and disease. Someone asked me this question yesterday on the internet, and it gave them something to think about. Now, are we called to suffer? Yeah. Now, but I want you to notice this. Jesus suffered, but he never got sick. Jesus suffered, but he never got sick. Okay, and when you read the New Testament, suffering is actually presented in a positive light at times. Right? Some people say flee, right? But sickness is never looked in a positive light. Never. Okay, now here's the difference. All sickness is suffering, but not all suffering is sickness. I will say that again. All sickness is suffering, but not all suffering is sickness. Okay, the Bible makes a distinction between the two. Now the Bible tells us we will suffer. As our sister said here, for Christ. You will be persecuted for your faith. People will abandon you, your family will be against you, but never told you to put up with sickness or disease. Notice this in just the book of James alone, James chapter 1. Consider it pure joy, my brothers or sisters, when you suffer trials of many kinds. Because no one develops faith, etc., etc. That's chapter 1. Talks about suffering trials. James chapter 5, the same book. Is anybody sick? Call the elders of the church, and the prayer prayed in faith will make the sick person well. That's a pretty absolute statement there. There's a distinction between the two. And everyone's like, Josh, are we supposed to carry our cross? If you, you just think about that, if that's true that we're supposed to carry our cross, isn't carrying our cross something you do voluntarily? Right? You don't, you don't, it doesn't just come on you. If you want to carry your cross, it's a choice. I don't actually believe in carrying a cross anymore under the new covenant. Okay, but if you want to use that kind of language, you need to carry your cross and suffer. It's voluntary. But isn't it true that you notice that people who are suffering from cancer, diseases, tumors, they don't choose that. <laughs> if you want to tell them they need to carry their cross, carrying a cross is something that you would do willfully, but it's not something that's forced upon you. And these people have no idea why they have these diseases. 